teacher tribe happy tuesday today is tuesday september 26th and it is past dismissal time remember to take a breath i always forget to do my intro so my name is allison wright for those who are new i am a second grade teacher in treasure coast florida for those who are returning thank you for being a part of the teacher tribe okay now um I have to make it fast. The weather outside is so bad and it's supposed to be bad for the remainder of the week. So I'm gonna try and run while it's a little gap right now because I forgot my umbrella. Um, it was storming before dismissal. I'm talking about like from like 2.30-ish when they were the kids were transitioning for MTSS, it was bad. The, thun the thunder was going off, scaring us, shaking the room and everything to the point where even the lights flickered at one point. Like. I'm just glad the AC is still working and it's still pretty cool in here because last time that happened, our AC broke and it was bad. Oh my God, custodial is already coming. Okay, um, today was a good day. I had a uh, majority of the day. I had 17 out of my 19 kiddos. Two were out. One is sick. Uh, I guess I'll have to catch you guys up tomorrow. Bye, teacher tribe. Hi, teacher tribe. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. Today is Wednesday, September 27th, and it is just past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. Hopefully we don't get cut off today. So let me start by finishing yesterday. Yesterday I had 17 out of my 19 kiddos. Two of them were out. One I know for sure was sick. I wanna say the other one is sick too because he was full of boogies on Friday. And he wasn't here yesterday and he also, the same two that were out yesterday were also out today. So I wanna just say both of them are sick. I know for sure one is, cause mom messaged me and told me he's sick. He might come back, if not tomorrow by Friday. Our other friend, I haven't heard anything, so I'm not 100% sure, but he was full of germs on Friday. So I'm just, I think it's safe to say he's, he's sick. Today was a pretty okay day. Um, we were supposed to have a split class at the end of the day and thankfully because the kids I was supposed to get one was absent so she just kind of shoved the other kid with another group this way she wasn't by herself in the room fine with me I didn't get no extra kids today even though I was ready for them but you know <laughs> but today was an awesome day guys for writing nope yeah writing we finally are starting to get caught up because our schedule is so wonky. So in case you didn't know, this is our schedule on the wall. We start the day with writing, then we have resource right after writing, then we have recess, we have math, lunch, reading, um, MTSS content, teacher-led PE, and then of course dismissal. So starting the day at the top of the day with writing, when we have stragglers coming in late, we have to do uh, morning announcements. Um, we have kids being pulled for their accommodations. We don't actually teach writing. And let me not say that. It's not that we're not teaching writing. It's just for the time that's supposed to be allotted for writing, we're not actually getting to it because then recess is right after, resource is right after writing. So we have to leave early because a lot of times, you know, we're heading to the other side of the, of the campus. So maybe that might get sh short in seven minutes, give or take. So we'll probably wrap up 10 minutes before. So seven minutes till we're walking through the door to head to wherever we need to get to. It is just, okay, let's just say writing is not being utilized to its capacity. Let's just leave it at that. So I mentioned it yesterday because a lot of my team kind of feel the same way. And I brought it up in our team lead, um, to our team lead during our meeting yesterday. And then at the end of the day yesterday, when I left here, I stopped by the office because I had to sign in and you know all the things. And I ran into our assistant principal. So I brought this up to her, just, just shared our concern and how letting her know that our team lead was gonna be reaching out. But since I saw her, I just kind of jump the gun a little bit just kind of give our heads up like hey we're having issues with this and here is our suggested solution so I brought it to her attention of course she has to play with it see what can be done but I made an attempt to try and fix our plan because 
first and foremost, writing is supposed to happen after reading because a lot of the times what we're happening with writing goes with the reading lesson. But if we're teaching writing before we even taught reading, there is, there's going to be a disconnect. So writing has always been after reading. So that was another part of our issue. So we're asked. So he. So the ask is, teacher-led PE, it's really a filler time. We're asking to put that in the morning. This way, in the morning, when we're using our time for morning announcements, we can kind of do like little mental health check-ins. We can use that time for anything else. Then we have resource. Then recess, math, lunch, reading, MTSS. After MTSS, our suggestion is to put writing there and bring content down to the end of the day. Content will still get taught, it'll be a little bit limited because we have to get ready for dismissal, but it's not for a grade. So that was the suggested schedule change and she said she was gonna play with it and then get back to us, so fingers crossed. But anywho, we did do a little bit of writing today. Um, for resource, we had science, so they went to our science teacher and then I, they came back and they told me that they're planting seeds which is so exciting because we're finishing up or we just finished up the unit for um, how plants grow and how life cycles of plants and animals go so they get to see a life cycle of a plant because they're growing the seed so I like that then we had indoor recess today math we did 3-4 3-4 was adding testing my memory now adding there's a word and the word is slipping me so I'm going to cheat hold on compensation okay so we're adding using compensation so um, they're using 10 frames so say we had the number 26 and the number 17 so 26 gets filled in over the three 10 frames and 17 gets filled in over the two 10 frames um, 17 needs three more to get to 20. 20, what I say, 26 needs four more to get to 20. So what we can do is take four away from 17 and put those four over to 26. So 26 is now 30 and 17 is now 13. So now you're adding 30 plus 13. 30 plus 13 is gonna be 43. So things like that is what they learned today, compensation. We're changing the numbers, but we're not changing our answer because the numbers are just being rearranged. Hopefully you guys get that. <laughs> so that was today's lesson. Um, tomorrow's lesson is going to be a doozy. We're stretching out three, six. That was three, five. Yes, we're stretching out three, six tomorrow over Thursday and Friday because it's word problems and they're two digit word problem, like two digit numbers with word problems. They had problems with when it adding up to 20 so adding up to more gonna be a problem so we're stretching out that lesson into two days you know I keep keep my eye out for custodial because I know they're coming soon what else do I have to fill you in on we finished up our foolish milkmaid story so foolish milkmaid is a folk tale or fable a fable about a, a milkmaid who carries a pail of milk on her head starts daydreaming of how she's gonna spend her money and gets so caught up in her daydreams that she tosses her head the milk pail falls now she goes home mom is upset no money no milk what did she do that was a mistake and we're breaking it down talking about the foolish things she did how she got distracted how she regrets making her doing her decisions blase blase we that was our first short read so we did that over these last th three days day one was last week friday yesterday and today tomorrow we do short read two which is a similar story or the moral of the story or theme of the story is very similar, but it's about a sprinter, the daydreaming sprinter. So we're gonna be able to do a compare and contrast by Friday. Um, I'm speaking so fast, I don't even know what I'm saying. MTSS, I had my students go where they needed to go. The rest of my kiddos are on um, iReady during that time. Content, we're supposed to be talking about maps and globes, but I'm not gonna lie, I got so caught up with them being so quiet on iReady that it kind of spilled into content and when I finally realized it, half the time was up. Had them shut down, gave them their snack, next thing I know, it's dismissal time. So no content got done today. But 
it was a pretty good day i really can't complain we got through everything we needed to get through so all smiles over here um i'm going to wrap it up there tomorrow i have a doctor's appointment both before and after work so i'm not going to see you tomorrow so i will see you guys on friday for fun friday bye teacher tribe hello teacher tribe happy friday today is friday september 29th it is the last day well weekday of the month and it is just past dismissal time remember to take a breath so yesterday i did not get the chance to record because i was supposed to do maternity photos that was a bust thanks to good old florida weather so i got my stuff ready to go so i came in late because i had a doctor's appointment did everything i had to do through the day throughout the day and when it was time for dismissal before i walked out with the kids i walked out with my stuff the moment i walked out and looked up <laughs> the sky was dark <laughs> and it was blue skies during the day like i said good old florida weather you know i'm checking for custodial but teachers are just leaving parent pickup so okay but yeah, so that was a bust. That was a waste. I could have recorded yesterday, but I never got the chance to come back to my room. Right after dismissal, I just left. So today was a pretty decent day. I had three friends out. Um, two of those friends have been out all week due to sickness. Um, well, one I know for sure due to sickness. The other one I'm assuming due to sickness. Have not heard anything. And honestly, I haven't reached out. I should probably, I'll probably send a message. But he was sick last Friday, like, sick so i'm assuming it's for sickness as well and then i had another boy who was here yesterday but who is now out so i don't know so i had three boys out funny enough a teacher one of the teacher's daughter was sick so she had to be out so her class got split so three boys out and i they split her class i got three girls so i just plugged in those three girls where my three boys have been out um so i had 19 officially but it was a pretty good day we got through everything that needed to get through they did owe time for fun friday um and but they still end up having fun friday so that's a plus i was finally able to put my center stuff together so this is what's left to put on their desk because i already started stickering them on their desk so let me explain how i'm going to do my centers i have five color groups green pink um, gold, purple, and blue, or yellow, but it's really supposed to be gold because gold is kind of what goes with the classroom. So green, pink, gold, purple, and blue. So those are the colors of my sticky notes. Those colors are for their rotation for daily five. Those are all random, or I tried to make it random. I really tried to kind of put like a low with a high and a mid low, like one in each category in each color or at least I try to, given that I only have 19. Now, when it comes to their level, the level is their animal that they have on there. Some of them have different levels for reading and math. Some of them are the same for reading and math. So shark is my bottom of the barrel. Those are my low babies. Above shark is my mid to low. They are my monkeys. My mid are my wolves. My mid high are my eagles and top of the food chain, my highs are my lions. So obviously I have not told them what the, the animal levels are. They just know that the animal levels are how I'm going to pull them to my small group table during their daily five rotations. And of course the color of their sticky note is how they're gonna follow the PowerPoint for their daily five rotations. I use the daily five rotations PowerPoint from um, Pocket Full of Primary. She had a whole thing on YouTube with Daily Five. So even though I have the Daily Five book, she broke it down beautifully and I understand Daily Five tremendously because of her. Um, so go back to her really, really old videos for Pocket Full of Primary for um, Daily Five explanations. So I use her PowerPoint for rotations. Um, I have my word workstation, which I have a bunch of random word work which now that I think about it, I need to update for the month of October for next week. Um, their writing center for daily five, I also got from Pocket Full of Primary. I just put it all in the binder. She literally walks you through how she set it up and it works perfectly. So I set it up the exact same way. 
I explained it to the kids. It is a binder that says work on writing, and then inside of it there's a, um, a different month, and it gives them different writing prompts. And here is the explanation for it. So, oh, let me explain it. So their name and date go here, the month that they're pulling from, and then the number prompt that they're choosing. And then of course there's some space for them to write and then they can add a picture. So this page is in their binder. I took it out to explain it to the students yesterday. I just forgot to put it back. So that's that. So it worked out handy to explain it to you. All of that is in her TPT store for Pocket Full of Primary. Highly recommend. Not sponsored, but I highly recommend it. I'll even try and put it in the description box below. Um, I'll link her YouTube videos and, or I'll try to link her YouTube videos and I'll put her TPT daily five resources in the description box to help you all out. What else did I do? So I explained all of that for small groups. So the intention is to start all of these on Monday. I'm going to finish before I leave here. I'm going to finish putting these. I already numbered them so I know who goes to what. I'm going to finish putting them on their desk. Um, and then I have to update the calendar for October because on Monday is October 2nd. So we're starting our new month and it's my last two weeks of, well, hopefully my last two weeks before I go on maternity leave. So you should, fingers crossed, have me for two more weeks and then I'll take a slight hiatus until I return to work in January. So that is pretty much my day in a nutshell. I did everything that was scheduled today and then of course at the end of the day I don't normally do content on Friday so I can give them that um, that fun Friday time so teacher chime give this video a thumbs up make sure you comment down below anything you want me to talk more or show you more about and I will see you all next week bye teacher tribe